Just 10 months away from the midterm elections where hot button issues including COVID, the economy and the future of the Supreme Court are already taking center stage in a battle for the majority. You may recognize our next guest, an Army veteran and a Michigan business owner who ran for Senate in 2020 and 2018. John James joins us now with an exclusive announcement about his political future. John, thanks so much for joining the program. What are you here to announce today? Lawrence, thanks for having me on. I'm excited to announce that I'm running for Congress in Michigan's amazing 10th Congressional District. We have a lot of work to do, and I believe that the arsenal of innovation, uh, the people, the hardworking blue-collar folks right here in the 10th Congressional District can help get America back where it needs to be, leading the world from a manufacturing standpoint, leading the world from an idea standpoint, and leading the world from a value standpoint. And it's just an honor to, uh, to announce my candidacy here uh, with you here today. We appreciate it, John. You know, I've been to Michigan a lot, talk with voters on the ground. I know a lot of folks were encouraging you uh, to run for that seat. Uh, why now? This is a new district that was drawn during redistricting. Uh, you know, you spent a lot of time away from your family on the campaign trail all across the state. Why do you think it's important right now in this moment to run for this open seat? Uh, the, the best time is now to do the right thing. The best time is now to hold this failed administration accountable. The best time is now to address the fact that Americans are fed up. They're fed up with gas prices and prices of bread going up. They're fed up with having their concerns put second and not first. They're fed up with having these school closures and having choice of what and how and when and, and where their kids are going to be educated taken away from them and having their freedom taken away from them. Freedom is on the ballot right now. Our futures are on the ballot right now and I believe that people of 10th Congressional District Michigan and America are going to stand up and they're going to take their future back they're going to take their freedom back and they're going to demand accountability take the House majority back and it's going to be an honor to be a part of that class uh, to flip the house and make sure that we get this country back to sanity yeah, it seems like the Republicans already have the momentum right now. You know, I, I've been watching Michigan, and, and we've seen some of the policies that is coming from the governor as well as uh, the Democrats on the federal level. But when you look at the Michigan unemployment uh, numbers, it seems like it's taken a hit, a 5.6 unemployment rate, and there's 265,000 unemployed uh, Michiganders. So what are you going to do differently if you get this seat? Well, I'm a supply chain uh, CEO. We're uh, uh, running a supply chain company in the automotive industry. And, and I've recognized that the way we've pushed jobs and opportunity out of this country have been terrible with the regulatory burden on businesses, with the, with the tax burden on businesses and individuals. Uh, is it any surprise that now we're having to claw back our jobs from Mexico and China? The best thing we can do is focus on education, make sure our children are prepared for the future, skilled trades and having opportunity moving forward and also get the regulatory and tax reform to put money back in the hands of people who've earned it to allow farmers to be able to farm their land without interference from a laptop jockey in D.C. and be able to put more money back in your pocket, not giving it to Joe Biden for his reckless spending. We need to make sure that the power is going back to the people, that the money is going back to the people. The conservatives and Republican Party is a party of the people, and it will be an honor to represent the 10th Congressional District to move the country back to the people because it's being taken by D.C. that all they care about is control and they don't care about your individual freedom. That's going to change in 2022. I guess we see why folks are asking you to run, brother. Uh, thanks so much for joining the program. Good luck in your race. A lot of folks saying they would like to see a businessman in that seat. Thanks, John.